Landscapes and landforms. So what is a landscape? What a landscape is, is it's what you can see in an area of land on the surface of the ground. Um, physical means natural things and human um, just means things that are there because of people. I can split everything that we can see up into four categories. Natural or physical, the things that are there that are nothing to do with humans. Um, the human things are the things that are to do with people. Biological is plants and animals that are there within our landscape. The variables are things that might change from day to day uh, within our landscape. So here is a coastal scene. Um, you've got caves and you've got the rock and you've got the cliffs and we've got the ocean here. All of those are completely natural or physical features. We've got the buildings within the background and the fence that comes around the side of the coastline. Um, those are human things. We've got the grass that you can see and we've got the bushes and we've got the trees, which are biological features of our landscape. And then finally, we've got things that change from day to day, like the clouds um, and the sky. You might come back another day and it's a totally clear blue sky. Now, um, here's an activity to have a go at. Um, within the table with the blue background, there are all sorts of features, things that we might find within a landscape, such as the weather or such as buildings or such as marshes. Uh, marshes is wet ground that you'd wear wellies to walk across going squelch, squelch, squelch. Now see if you can split these things up into natural human biological variables. If you want to pause the video, I'll be going through the answers next. Okay, here are our answers. The totally natural features are marshes, the coast itself, mountains, rivers and lakes, valleys and plains, nothing to do with people. Then we've got the human features, which are buildings, the roads, railways, gas pipelines, water lines, um, fences, pylons, that's everything that's been built. Next, we've got biological features, which is flora, which is our vegetation, and fauna, the wildlife within the landscape. And then finally, we've got the variables, the things that change from day to day. One day you might have frost and snow. Another day there could be a storm. Uh, the smells and sounds of the area and the weather continually changing from day to day. Now, here is a natural landscape um, been created totally by Mother Nature. Now, within this landscape, let's have a look for the physical, the human, the biological and the variables. We'll go for one example of each. So these weathered rocks that you can see on the left hand side of the picture, um, totally natural, a physical feature. Next, we've got the tourists. You can just make them out having a look at the spectacular scene top left. Um, that's the human side of it. Thirdly, we've got the grass, um, the biological part. And fourthly, we've got the things that could change from day to day. So the snow on the ground. Now, this is a spectacular waterfall within Iceland. Um, one day it could be quite warm, come back the next day it could be freezing cold because of wind chill. We also have built landscapes. Um, so this landscape here has been created by humans. Again, let's have a look at the four different parts of the scene. We have um, the hillside. Now that's totally natural, a physical part. Um, no one's going to be building the road at this angle. Um, the hillside was there first, it is natural, and then the road has been laying over the top of it. Secondly, there are buildings. That's the human part of the landscape. We have the plants, that's a biological part of the scene that we can see. And then finally, um, we've got the clear sky, which is a variable because come back another day, it could be covered in cloud. Now, we've had a look at landscapes. Now let's take a look at landforms because landscapes are full of landforms. Now all the landform is, is a recognizable shape within the landscape. So let's have a look at some examples. 
This first picture shows a waterfall, um, a very recognizable shape. Secondly, um, you have a beach. Now this is a very recognizable feature of a coastal landscape. So the beach itself is a land form. Um, in this picture here, there are quite a few different land forms. This is a sea stack. There is a sea cave. Um, this is a crack within the cliff itself, which is a uh, landform as well. In this fourth picture, you've got a geyser. Um, this one is within Iceland. Um, so it's a hole in the ground. And um, that's the land form. And then the spout of water comes out of it about once every five or six minutes. Finally, um, this is Scarfell Pike, which is the highest mountain within England, because both hills and mountains and lakes are all recognisable shapes within a landscape. So they are land forms. So let's just have a quick summary of what we've learned today. Um, landscapes are the visible features making up the surface of the ground in an area of land. We can categorise the things that we can see into natural, human, biological or variables. Landforms are recognisable shapes within landscapes, examples being things like a waterfall or a beach or hills and mountains.